Let's dive into the world of German network providers and find the best SIM card for you. In this video, I'll be talking about network providers, the best SIM card options for prepaid and postpaid plans, how to purchase and activate your SIM card. Meanwhile, I did a little survey on the best SIM cards in Germany and 103 people responded with their experiences and i'll be sharing these experiences with you in this video as well so that we know what real people are saying my name is ogena and i make videos to help you navigate and settle into life in germany now there are three major network providers in germany with a fourth one coming up strong number one deutsche telecom also known as t-mobile T-Mobile is the largest mobile network operator in Germany and is considered the best. They offer the best coverage, especially in rural areas. Now, of course, it's not just in rural areas, but it means that where in rural areas where usually is, the coverage is a little bit more um, difficult, T-Mobile seems to be doing strongly in this area. So they are known for their high quality service, but they tend to be more expensive. Next up is Vodafone. Vodafone is the second largest mobile network operator in Germany and of course a very strong contender in the mobile market. They offer good coverage and competitive pricing. Next is O2. O2 is operated by Telefonica Germany. It is generally the cheapest among the network providers. Their coverage may be less extensive in rural areas unlike T-Mobile or Vodafone but they are known for offering competitive pricing and they have made a lot of significant um, improvements over the years. The next is Eins und Eins. Eins und Eins is the fourth and newest player with its launch in December of 2022. Now their coverage is still pretty limited and in areas where they don't have coverage they rely on the O2 network. These major providers also lease their networks to smaller companies known as mobile virtual network operators. These MVNOs offer very competitive pricing, but they may have some limitations, you know, here and there. Because, of course, it's not their own network. They are relying on another, um, another network provider. So every SIM card you buy, no matter the name, are running on these four major network providers. Now that we have covered the main network providers in Germany, let's move over to best SIM card options for prepaid and postpaid plans. Now, whether you're an expert, a student, or a visitor, when choosing your SIM card options in Germany, you should consider your length of stay, your data usage, and budget. For example, if budget is your concern, you may want to consider prepaid, um, prepaid plans. But if you're a heavy data user, postpaid plans may make the most sense. If you are just visiting, a prepaid card is definitely what you should be looking at. So the choice between a prepaid and postpaid card would depend on your needs. On one hand, prepaid SIM cards offer more flexibility and freedom with no long-term commitments. It's suitable for short stays or if you are not, if you don't use your phone um, very he heavily as such, so you don't really use a lot of data. It can be purchased and activated quickly. However, you need to always buy um, credit online for you know to top up your your credit you can buy that from retail stores or you can buy online on the other hand postpaid sim cards typically offer cheaper rates especially for those who are really heavy phone users so use a lot of data heavy data usage um, generally with postpaid plans the the rates are a lot better uh, usually it would involve a contract of maybe 12 to 24 months depending on what you go for often including the contract is a smartphone bundle so um of course that's not a must you don't have to go with a smartphone you could get a contract with a smartphone or without a smartphone now getting a contract with a smartphone means that um you're paying for the phone of course with um as part of your contract so as part of your monthly bill you're paying for the phone as well so that will run through either you're going for 12 months um contract period or you're going for a 24 month contract period so of course if you're not going with a phone bundle your cost is a lot lower your monthly bill is a lot lower if you're going for a monthly bond if a monthly bond <laughs> if you're going for a with a phone bundle your monthly cost is of course um a lot higher and with postpaid cards um, they are much more paperwork and you are billed monthly with any extra charges that might be included. Now let's talk about best SIM card options for prepaid plans. And here we'll be considering factors like price, data allowance, 
and coverage. And we'll look at five options in no particular order. Number one is Telecom Magenta Mobile Prepaid Plan. This is really for those prioritizing network quality. They offer plans ranging from one gig up to unlimited data plan with prices starting from four euro 95 cents for one gig up to nine euro 95 cents for unlimited data for the period of four weeks and this includes text as well as calls number two Vodafone Collier. With Vodafone, I think it's just a great balance of coverage and value. Here, plan starts from 6 gig to unlimited data with prices from 9 euro 99 cents for 6 gig up to 79 euro 99 cents for unlimited data. Of course, again, this includes calls and texts. Number three is O2 prepaid plans. This is a budget friendly option with decent coverage here we have plans from 8 gig to 999 gig <laughs> this is for is as far as i'm concerned it's unlimited because what are you doing with 999 gig for a period of four weeks well i don't know maybe some people use more than that but um essentially for me i think it's it's unlimited in any case prices start here from 9 euro 99 cents for 8 gig up to 74 euro 99 cents for 999 um gig and this is for a period of four weeks including texts and calls number four is little connect little connect uses the vodafone network this i think is just excellent value for money um especially if budget is a focus here here plans range from 10 gig to 30 gig with prices starting from 80 euro 99 cents for 10 gig up to 18 euro 99 cents for 30 gig. Number five is Aldi Talk. The Aldi Talk operates on the O2 network. It's another budget friendly option, and just like with Lidl Connect, the plans range from 10 gig to 30 gig with prices from 8 euro 99 cents up to 13 euro 99 cents um, for the period of four weeks, including tax and, and calls. Now, if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, this would be a good time to do so. And if you found this video useful, are considering subscribing so you can get more content like this thank you now let's talk about best sim card options for postpaid plans using the same metrics we are considering factors such as price um, data allowance as well as coverage and we'll be looking at five options as well in no particular order number one is deutsche telecom magenta postpaid plan magenta mobile plans uh, offer premium service with extensive Perks. The Magenta Mobile Plan starts from €34.95 up to €84.95 per month. This includes unlimited calls, unlimited text. Now, depending on the plan, the package that you're on, it will also include 5 gig up to unlimited data. EU roaming is also included with the Magenta Mobile. Number two is Vodafone Red. Now, Vodafone Red's um, S Plan is 29 euro 99 cents per month offering unlimited calls unlimited texts plus 10 gig of data with eu roaming included number three is o2 free now o2 plans are known for flexibility and affordability now the o2 free unlimited plan starts from 29 euro 99 cents per month which includes unlimited calls unlimited texts data and eu roaming number four sim on mobile the Simon Mobile uses the Vodafone network. The Simon plans cost €14.99 per month, which includes unlimited calls, unlimited text, as well as 15 gig of data. You can also have an additional 5 gig data for an additional €3 Euros per month or uh, 15 gig data for an additional €8 Euro per month. Now with Simon, every month you can decide to pause or cancel or continue with your um, data plan. So even though it's a postpaid um, plan, it resembles the prepaid um, um, concept in this case. So I think it's a good balance. Number five is WinTeam. WinTeam operates on the Eins on Eins network and when Eins on Eins network coverage is not available, they then rely on the O2 network. Now, just like SimOn, while WinTeam is a postpaid um, plan, it resembles the prepaid plan in its, um, in its flexibility, you know, so which means that you can also pause, you can cancel, or you can continue with the, with the contract 
every um every month as in monthly you can decide to do that now on winsim plans start from 5 gig to 60 gig with prices from 5 euro 55 cents to 22 euro 99 cents per month this includes unlimited calls unlimited text data and eu roaming now after all this have been said what are the real life users saying let's take a look at the survey which i did when asked what network they use 22.4% use WinSIM, which I found very surprising to be honest because before this survey, I didn't even know there was a, <laughs> I didn't know of WinSIM. So I found it very surprising that a lot of people actually do use WinSIM. And then 18.4% use AldiTalk, no surprises here. 17.1% um, use O2, 11.8% use Vodafone, 9.2% use Telecom. 7.9% use Leica and 13.2% use other networks, which included um, Lido, Lebara, Sim, Simon Mobile, Autel, Chibo, Blau, Black Sim, Simply Tell, you know, and so on and so forth. So there are lots of, there are lots of um, network here that I, I didn't even realize this, this many networks, which is um, really impressive, honestly. Now of all these users, 61.8% use prepaid while 38.2% use postpaid plans. Now, when asked why they are using postpaid plans, these are some of the responses I got. I'll just read um, a few of them, just like most of the, uh, the most common responses I got. A lot of responses were saying better data plans. Um, some people said it came with the phone, so for them it was affordable. And a lot of people talked about convenience. So somebody says it's convenient and stable. Some people talked about unlimited internet, um, unlimited internet and additional SIM cards for family, which gives them unlimited as well. I found it to be really cool, you know, that you could have multiple SIM cards within the contract. So which makes it makes it um, cheap across board for a family. I found it really, really cool. And my other person said it came with the phone. Okay, a lot of people buying, um, doing the bundle with the phone bundle thing um so some people said there was no particular reason they had no strong preference they just that was the information they got and they just ran with it then when asked um those who use prepaid when asked why they use uh, why they chose to use the prepaid plans these are the most common responses i got independence flexibility someone talked about being able to control um how much i spend on calls and mobile data um, so people talk about on, no unexpected bills, um, independence and flexibility, flexibility. Um, yeah, someone said because there's there's um, internet at home, which is really cool. You know, especially if you work from home, it just makes sense that you don't need to pay extra. You don't need to pay extra for a phone uh, um, plan, data plan, if um, you don't go out all the time. So this would fall under the category of not using um, your phone heavily. And this is really cool okay i have someone even responded i work mostly from home so i can manage when i need to subscribe or not rather than having a fixed plan so it makes sense um some people said it's more cost effective some people said it's to regulate their data consumption um someone said i didn't find anything else <laughs> it's very funny um another person said i didn't know one could use postpaid i saw responses like this um reoccurring a lot so many people did not know um, that they had options, which is surprising, honestly, but it is the reality and hence the need for a video like this. Yeah, so from the survey, it seems that most people seem to be happy with the um, with the network providers in terms of price, flexibility and customer service. Although there are a few people who are not happy with what they got and I assume that this influenced a lot of um, people who moved from one network to another. Because I asked some people who already had a previous network and then they changed um, to a different network, why the reason behind their change. And a lot of the answers kept revolving around pricing, increased data usage, poor um, coverage. And for some people, it was um, customer service. So in this, in this area of customer service, most people were um, uncomfortable with the fact that you couldn't talk to customer service in english um that could be understandable you know considering that germany is becoming really really international um i imagine that it'd be cool to 
and be able to speak to someone in the customer service in English. Actually, beyond the English, fast somebody even said that not just speaking in English, but even sometimes even speaking in German, the customer service guys don't even speak good German, so it's difficult to ex to um even communicate in the German um language as well. This for me, I found very surprising. Personally, I've not had a need to contact customer service um for my own uh, um, network because I use a prepaid a prepaid plan so i buy data based on when i need it simply because i have internet at home i have internet at the office so i just need that network between the office and the house you know just that short distance so i don't need to to have a postpaid plan and i have not had any issue enough for me to um, reach out to customer care anyway that's that's what people are saying now let's talk about how to purchase and activate your sim card purchasing and activating sim cards in germany is straightforward because you can buy your sim cards almost anywhere airports you know um, electronic stores um grocery stores um you know supermarkets things like that and you can also purchase them online you know via maybe the the provider's um website or maybe any of all these e-commerce sites so it's pretty pretty straightforward now when it comes to registering your sim card you typically need to register your sim card online or you go to the provider's app so for example i use aldi i just installed the aldi app and then you activate your sim card using um, using the app now you would have to remember to have your passport handy because the german law requires identity verification when registering your sim card now no matter which plan you choose be it prepaid or postpaid general network providers have options that suits every need and budget so whether you are here for a short stay or a long stay i hope that this video has been helpful to you know guide you in in the decision making as regarding the sim card choice to go for and so i see you next week or next time to have a fantastic fantastic day bye